man with the beautiful lips, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. In the new... <laughs> In the new movie, At First Sight, and you'll remember her from wonderful roles that she played, like Witness and Top Gun, Top Gun. The Accused. Would you please welcome Kelly McGillis? Yes. Oh, how tall are you? Um, 5'10". 5'10". No, we're just short, Marie. <laughs> Speak for yourself. No, no, you okay. are short. <laughs> you have quite the energetic crowd oh, today. I think they, are they are great. They are great. It's fun to have you back in Hollywood. Does it feel uh, strange to come back and visit here? No, I grew up here, so I, you Is know, it? have a lot of friends here and family, and it's always fun to go shopping because there's nothing to do in Key West but go to Kmart, so it's kind of fun to broaden my horizons. <laughs> yeah, we should oh, mention yeah, that. Yeah, ooh, a real department store. <laughs> <laughs> we should mention you moved to Florida, to Key West. Yeah, I live in Key West, yeah. so the shopping there is very limited, but it could probably save me a bundle of money. My little five-year-old every says every time I come home, she says, "Mommy, we must go shopping." So I think, thank goodness, I live in Key West. <laughs> She hasn't been introduced to Fred Siegel's yet, or Barney's. Yeah, yeah. Barney's can be scary. Well, yes. You yes. have how many children? I have two little girls. Two 85. little girls. Oh, how fun. That's yeah. great. Thank you. What are the names? What are the names? Um, Kelsey is the eight-year-old, and Sonora is the five-year-old. That's pretty. A pretty Sonora. name, Sonora. Yeah. You, you stay quite busy down in Key West, I understand. You have a, you run a restaurant yeah, as well? Yeah, we have a 350-seat restaurant that my husband and I run when we're there. I mean, he's there all the time. Thank goodness I'm not having to be there all the Does time. Does he love restaurant, uh, what do they call it, restaurant tour? Uh, restaurant tour? Tour, yes. Yeah, well. I've never heard of that. I think you tour? have good restaurant days and tour. bad days like you have everything else. Yeah. You know? What's the name of the restaurant? Kelly's Caribbean Bar and Grill. Okay. And we're opening a new one this next year called Kelly's Key West. Really? Yeah. Okay. Do you have key lime pie there? Of course okay. we do. Okay. How is yours? Do you have good key lime pie? You know, a lot of people say ours is the best that they've had. Now, really? I'm not going to brag, yes. but I think that's a wonderful compliment. You know, there, don't is, you? A, there is a plane called FedEx, and one could be sent to our show. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> Okay, let everybody know. Okay. Is it true you met your husband when you went to get a, a, a yacht? Yeah. <laughs> Is that true? Well, I was breaking up with my boyfriend at the time, and so I moved. I went down to my mom and dad's house in Newport Beach to visit them, and I thought, well, gosh darn it, I'm going to go buy a boat because I'm. I just bought a house in Marina del Rey, which wasn't ready yet. So I walked across a little bridge from the island where they live, and I walked in this yacht broker's office and. I met this guy and he went and showed me a boat and he was down below and I was standing up above and I thought, my goodness, this guy is like something else. <laughs> I mean, and we, from that day on, we hadn't ever been apart for five years. Love at first sight. Yeah, it was Isn't pretty amazing. Wonderful? Love stories like right. that. I really did, love did, that. Did you end up buying the yacht? No, he talked me out of the boat. Ah. Talked me into getting but his own. But you got the best part of it. True love. I did. We bought a boat many years later. Yeah, yeah. Fun. That's I mentioned fun. Uh, at the beginning of the show, I saw bits and pieces of the film you did with Val. He looks really, really interesting. Now, you play his sister, right? Yes. Uh -huh. um, he's blind. Yeah. And he falls in love and, and moves away from home. And I'm his rather overly protective sister who has taken care of him all his life. And it's a love story, and it's a story about a blind man who gets his sight back. It's kind of... They say that's very traumatic. Is, is, well, in the film, it certainly made me think twice about if I were blind, would I really want to go through that? I mean, I'd never thought about it really until I did this movie. I mean, you would think that you would want it, but apparently it, it is very traumatic. Well, see, our two oldest brothers are deaf, and so you think about those things. You know, what if they got their hearing back? Right. Well, what would that do to them? Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, when you see the film, you'll see it's... Your brain isn't programmed to deal with that information, so I do think it is, or can be, very traumatic. And is it right for us to meddle with that? I don't know. I mean, those are some of the things that the film brings up. Hmm. We actually have a scene from the film we want to take a look at, right behind you. Okay. <laughs> this is your home. Don't worry about things that don't matter to you. You're safe here where everybody knows you. You matter to me, Jenny. This was a great place to grow up. It was very safe. But I grew up. I can't even imagine the things you gave up for me. I just want to look at you. Look at me, Chitty. I 
I want to say thank you. I love you from the bottom of my soul. And I want to give you your life back. Val, which we went to Juilliard together, so we mm -hmm. before even Top Gun, so it was quite fun to kind of reunite and reminisce about things. And there's also a certain long, you know, a history that you have with somebody that we didn't have to create because we have shared experiences, mm -hmm. nice. which was really nice. And you've chosen some very interesting roles over the years, parts to play. What do you look for in a script before you say <laughs> yes, I want to jump in and do that? <laughs> Lord, I wish I knew. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. You know, it depends on what I think might be interesting. Uh, it might be subject matter. It might be the character. It might be whatever I feel is important socially for me to express at that point in time. It might be something that I want to work on in my craft, say something I've never felt I've ever done before. Right. Um, there are no kind of set and hard rules in my life about any of that. I wish I had a little formula that I said, oh. Well, you're doing so much now besides film and Shakespeare Company and all the things that you're doing. We right. really wish you, wish you great luck on everything. Uh, the film you. comes out tomorrow. 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 We We're wish you all the best it. with it. Thank you. Kelly McGillis. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Up next, find out how you can walk in the shoes of your favorite Hollywood star. And later, teen singing sensation Britney Spears performs. <laughs>